Like, I wrote and I sang Machala 100%. Why would you be asking me if I produce Machala? Wait, wait, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, small matter done, guys, between these upcoming artists, Kata Ife and Sydney Toka over Machala. If you have never heard the song, my play for Una now. Oh my god, guys, for the sake of copyright claim, I am sorry. I'm going just going to sing the song with my mouth. Man, just one day happy, man. One day you're right. Got me looking like I got whiskey from Ghana. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, guys, my song is not that amazing, but let me just move straight to the main gist. So, now, guys, this guy named Barry Tega has something to tell us. Let's listen. Yes, I just have to talk. We did this song. I sang the song from the beginning to the end. You drop this song, you're not tagging me on your page, shows you're not carrying me along. You offered me a 95% you taking 95 me taking 5% of a song that I sang from the beginning to the end. At first, you sent a deal that I don't have the right to perform this song. I told you, so it was a mistake. We argued, 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 argued. We concluded on 70 30. Because when we were doing this song, my manage management called me. The day that we posted the video on TikTok, he called me and I was like, what's the argument between you and Kata? I said, no argument. They said we should do a 40 and 60. I take I take, I take um, 40, Kata takes 60. I was like, no, let Kata take 70, let me take 30. Since Kata is promoting the song, I got a call from Sydney Toka and Kata the next day. They were like, oh, they're going to pay me off the song with 100,000 Naira. The song I sang from beginning to the end, telling me you want to pay me off the song with Oh my guys, that's not all though. This is actually so surprising. Somebody wrote a song, sang a song, and you want to offer him this like 100 kz for Gary, song you made over millions on. So guys, the things we saw on Twitter is crazy. And even when you check to confirm it is true, the song now is no longer Kata Ife and Berry. It's now Kata featuring Berry on that Sydney Toka record. Guys, meaning say the guy no even game out again. Like in even if you talk anything now, the song don't officially turn to the Sydney talker who oh, not get that kind of thing. So now I make the guy they cry, they come outside to internet. But Mook will hear this next video we didn't get to talk. Like I wrote and I sang Machala hundred percent. Why would you be asking me if I produce Machala? Blogs took the post up and were like, Oh Berita got um, claiming ownership of Machala with Kata while I be like bicycle this thing was going viral. I texted you the like, oh bro, you know see me you know the drag song. Hope you are not pissed was like okay yeah 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 we gotta do we gotta do Kata, machala was causing issues online i left machala and i started promoting my next song kata knew about that song that, that was the song i wanted to drop it's not even a song about him or anything he has that song i've played the first day we met i played that song for kata i started promoting my song now you're coming out and saying um i'm ungrateful will i rest my case god day but now, but I can't tell the guy they're ungrateful because hundred k they look like say na big money for him. I. So guys, how now see this matter? Because me, I don't want to choke my out for artist matter. Even though I don't really choke my, but I don't want they involved. So I know they support anybody. I know they support the guy. I know they support Katayfi. But what I think about this video, me na share, me na subscribe, me na follow TikTok, and me on Twitter, on TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. Thanks for.